Hello, a warm welcome, and this is the scene here in North Thank London. My name is Derek Ray. With me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Crystal Palace. Yeah, great to be here. How lucky are we, Derek? We get paid for this. Astonishing, really. Looking forward to a fabulous game. I'm sure the fans are too. Should be great. Number 17. And we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Lee? Yeah, he scores goals, Derek. And that's what you want from the player, the top end of your pitch. Get the ball, put the ball in the net. It's a simple job, really. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4 2 3 1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4 5 1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Enjoy the game. It looks like a conventional 4-4-2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. Aurier. Now Sissoko. Ndombele. Townsend. It's the turn of Spurs now. Sissoko. Aurier. Oh, he's through here! Well, on the volley, that's not how he had planned it in his mind. No, he certainly saw the ball going in a different direction than it went in. Ezzy. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Zaha. No way through against Alderweireld. He's driven in the corner. Not to be this time. And intercepted it. Fabier. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. Son. And dispossessed. An awful lot of green space to run into. Luka Milivojevic. Well read to win possession back. Now can they counter clinically. All hands on deck. And an astute piece of defending. Wilfred Zaha. Ezzy. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. 
Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Aurier. Ndombele. Harry Kane. Son. And here's Dombele. He takes aim. Well, body in the way. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. James MacArthur. And Zaha has it. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Klein. Townsend. Good looking cross. Just couldn't capitalise there. And the ball back with Spurs now. Sissoko. So a goal kick is what's coming up here. Wilfried Zaha looks promising this looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead well Tottenham enjoying the bulk of possession here but that doesn't lead to goals necessarily they haven't created enough too slow up front midfield very average the coach he's not happy at all he wants more from this team Sissoko. Rebier. Here's Kane. Shot attempted. Oh, did so well to deny him. Set pieces. They're so important. Listen to that noise, Derek. Listen, it's awesome. Well, that was the chance to take the lead, and the manager's frustration is there for all to see. And played short. And still looking for space. Sissoko. No problems for the keeper. Reguilon. Ndombele. And Hoybier with it. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Now, let's see what they can do here. Can they forge ahead? Oh, it's off the post. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, even the best can have their struggles, and that certainly applies to Harry Kane, who's been a long way from his best late. I'm sure the keeper will think he's got away with one today. He's not been tested at all. Lack of movement for me is the key. He's got to do better. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. Shot attempted. Oh, did so well to deny him. Set pieces, they're so important. Listen to that noise, Derek. Listen, it's... The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Townsend. Benteke. Excellent challenge. Steven Bergwijn. Hoybier. Now Son. Sissoko. And can they prize them open now? 
Kane. Splendid challenge it was coming in from Nathaniel Klein. Ezzy. Cahill. Kuyase now. James MacArthur. Promising attack this. He's beat chances on. The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it. Well, here's the replay, and it's a decent move to evade the defender. And once he gets himself settled with the keeper to beat, he hammers it into the back of the net. Smashing goal. So back underway, and a wake-up call for Tottenham, perhaps. Number 20, Christian Benteke. Aurier. Tottenham totally controlling possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the defence, get round them as opposed to trying to go through the middle. And intercepted it. Half an hour remaining then. Harry Kane. Sissoko. Son. Plenty of options. Rebier. Here's Kane. Excellent block. Now, well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Ndombele. Well, possibilities in the centre. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. That is goalkeeping of the highest order and of the bravest order as well. Well, it's not all about tipping balls over the bar and round the post. It's about being brave and diving at players' feet. Ndombele. Sissoko. And putting his body on the line. Oh, not a great touch. And they've lost possession. Sissoko. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And the cross is very much on. And you need your defender to take charge. Cutting the ball back. Ndombele. Sissoko. Aurier. Here's Kane. This could be the equaliser. A tremendous block. Can they put it away? And the keeper has custody of the ball, but just a few seconds beforehand, he had a big save to make. Well, keep hold of it. Have a breather, because that first save deserves us all to look at him and clap. You always say that you get one more chance. The Tottenham fans certainly believe so. Incredible noise in here right now. On the attack in the closing phase. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Substitution for Chris Spurs Harris. to make a personnel switch now. Number 18, James McCarthy. To be replaced by number 22, James McCarthy. Cahill. Townsend. This is Klein. 
And I must say, that was a very promising attack. The alarm bells were sounding. And five minutes to go. Reguilon. Spurs get the advantage from the referee. And he was in the right place to intercept. Luka Milivojevic. Oh, great vision. And thumped away. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Substitution for Christmas. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Number 24, Gary Kane. Coming onto the pitch. Number two, Joel Ward. Luka Milivojevic McCarthy and showing fine vision and danger still so the final whistle and it's a story of defeat for Spurs in this one Lee, what did you make of it all? yeah, certainly not their best performance was it? just a little off the pace for me today it's obviously a disappointing result but it's key that they bounce back they can't afford another repeat performance like this next time out. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. He's always a man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him in that vital moment when he grabbed that goal. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. Shot attempted. Oh, did so well to deny him. Set pieces, they're so important. Listen to that noise, Derek. Listen, it's... Promising attack, this. He's... Chances on. The opening goal, but on the balance of play, who would have expected this? Well, how have they done that? They don't deserve it, but they'll take it.